The New Jersey Paranormal Project returned to Butler Museum with some friends in the field to document the activity at the museum. Tonight's investigation, we have Dawn Pfeiffer, medium spirit artist, Ron Yacovetti and Lourdes Gonzalez, ITC and Ghost Box experts. And let's see what we find tonight at the Butler Museum. Was the property split or something? Uh, there was I'm a... I'm saying it's big expansive, but I feel like it was cut and split. There, uh, yeah, it was part of this was added on. Talking back then. Okay. Okay. Um, the building looks different in my mind. Okay. Um, it felt much smaller. Uh, the do, you, do you know about the building? The building is smaller without the added on section. But also, it, it was a big property, but I feel cuts in the property. Okay. Like expansive property, but cut, it, cut up. Obviously, this is a train station, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I do see women in long dresses, like Victorian looking. You know what I mean? Like right. long dresses, collars, you know. Okay. Um, can I? Oh, go right in. I'm afraid it's, it's, I'm be our it. guest. <laughs> I'm really interested in learning this year. I have radio communication that predates any of those ghost box stuff. I love them. I'm just saying. So we have a little stuff and talk about something. We'll put problems with your kids. So I'm seeing like ribbons on the train station, like a big to-do in the town. Well, what they did back in, like, say, World War One, they had a homecoming for the World War I soldiers. That was a year after they finished World War One. And they had big massive parade parading through here. Yeah. I mean, there was multiple town related. There's a photo. But they used to have, when they came home too, it wasn't military. They had like a, somebody was coming here to go to St. Anthony. Mm -hmm. They had like a Catholic religious meet and greet for a priest or something. And the band was come down. And so that's awesome that you were you picked up on that outside the building. Yeah. Smaller wooden yeah. structure. Mm -hmm. And I I did see like a big parade and a big uh, to do like a big town festival kind of thing like a gathering here. And the women in the long skirts. I, I saw this gentleman also. I keep seeing artwork. I don't know. Anyway, crazy. Um, so, <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see. Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Do you know people that used to work here, by chance? People who used to work here? Yes, Paul has a whole list of people. Because I feel like there's someone that was either... Um, Police or cop, there's some kind of uniform of someone that works here. I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying uniform. I don't know. But I know it's from more of a recent time, not. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. Because um, I feel him around and he loves the place. And um, I feel that he took a lot of pride and a good sense of humor and a good guy. But I think he's a woman too. <sighs> more of an impression. I don't know if she's connected as something I found. Is she, she has her hair up and it's wavy, dark. And uh, definitely back in the days. And I don't even see what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm going to hope that they're guided here. <laughs> So let's see. Okay. She 
feels like a very prominent woman. High collar. Okay. I'm not sure if that's her name, just someone connected to her. I almost feel like she could have been a wife or, or someone here. She's definitely connected. You have your light for a second? Oh, yeah. Just right there for a second. It really was amazing watching Dawn sketch out of nowhere. Um, Dawn had no previous introduction to the museum. She came in and immediately started drawing. So as you watch what she's doing, this is all coming from the moment with no walkthrough, no introduction to the museum. This is all genuinely spontaneous. And it's just amazing how these you know, images of these people are forming right before our eyes and with stories and attachments to the museum and the area of Butler. It's like all coming to right now. I keep getting also um, some kind of connection. I keep getting art. There's some kind of art connection around here. This is I'm not sure. Somebody's connected with art. What kind of art? Like. I keep hearing legacy, legacy, legacy art. Legacy with art. Yeah. Like paintings, sculpting. S sculpting, but more than that, more than that. It's like. God, you're giving me chills. More, more, more. It's like it feels big. I keep hearing legacy. It's a it, it legacy, you know, for continual throughout. Oh my God. Um, you understand this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I definitely think I know what what you're coming well, don't up say with. Anything, yeah. Because <laughs> um, I feel like it's a man that is 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 really wanting to make history and art. Is Something. there any like connection to like American artists possibly or? Actually, I, American, but I see it going some like somewhere else. Like across, like across another country. Okay. Do you know, like there is some connection there. Yeah. But I feel like it's a part of here, if that makes sense. I know we're in the middle of here and everything. No, no, you, you're, um, you're. It's like almost commission or some. I don't know. There's some sort of art important. Okay. I want to go, it's like commission or something. I want to go in another country, another country. Uh -huh. And it's like known. He keeps saying known, known, what is that? Known. What is that said? Known? Yeah. Yeah. And um, big, big, known, big. Big. <laughs> so, um, uh, okay. You're doing good, actually. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to tell you what you're doing. No, don't about. tell me. I, I, I want you to hear witnesses because as this is unfolding, I'm like, oh my god, this is. As soon as she walked into the room, but the art is very significant. You know, can you, you have that picture of the guy? I have the lady. Uh, can you get the picture? Picture of the, of the guy? guy? Yeah. Like I know someone. Like this is Richard Butler. Here, meet Richard Butler. And I can tell you something about this guy, okay? I mean, yeah, look at the, look at your drawing. Could be Richard. Richard uh, was an art dealer. Uh, <laughs> so, uh... Sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, see, this... this that. Okay. So before you had said something, this man right here? Yeah. I think that's who you're drawing. 
That's the guy. But you're, you're not drawing this guy, you're drawing that guy. But the R is connected to him? Yes. This right here is his name is Bartholomew. Okay. He is the man who made the Statue of Liberty. Okay. Ah, okay. So I definitely know that this guy is lifelong, with the art. lifelong friends with Richard Butler, okay. who was an art, uh, you know, a dealer, a connoisseur, a you know, like in his personal life. Mm -hmm. uh, but he owned the rubber mill that's right over here. Don't tell me too much. So I'm not gonna tell you more, <laughs> but I mean, you know, he. Uh, no, no, because I want to yeah. tell you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please tell me. You know, I want to know how he died. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I do see the nose. No, it's him. Yeah. That is him. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> wow. That's Bartholdi she drew, <laughs> you're not Richard Butler. I, well, he kept saying R in connection. So if it, the other guy is Richard, I'll take that. Well, they were lifelong friends. Okay, perfect. Yep, yep. Was there a fire? Because I'm smelling smoke. We're still all smoke, honey. You know. I mean, not now. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Run. So, John, do you want to talk? Don't put that down. What is that? What is that going off on? <laughs> What is this thing? This, this is a millimeter and a REM pod. All Electric magnetic one. field is being yeah. fluctuated. Really? Will yeah. there be anything in here in this no. case? So you have to get that close to it. Can you oh. walk up to this device and do exactly this? The closer you come, you can show us your presence by lighting that up. Okay, thank you very much. Can you light it up more? Can you walk away from it? If you walk away from it, it will go off. And we'll know that we're talking to you intelligently. Make it stop going. Just by walking Please. away from it. Yeah, you go. Come on now, walk away. I know, it's fun, isn't it? Can you come stand over by me instead? It's fine. Now, how wow. often does that, something like that happen? Because it could be anomalies too, right? And the, uh, oh, going yeah. off. It's pointing at Richie, uh, Rich, uh, Dean. Richie Dean over there. Yeah. Can, can you stop touching the device, please? I'm going to switch the range a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Cancel to zero again. Yeah. Can you walk up to this device and turn it on? This is an important room, though. We've always picked up a lot. Yeah, absolutely. The, definitely the uniforms. I'm always drawn back to this corner. and The men of service. And mm -hmm. I think Richie Dean has a lot to do with, you know, when Kim, when Kim was here, uh, Kim had a lot to say about Richie Rich Dean. And you know, not for nothing, but being the first person killed here in, uh, in World War One, mm -hmm. you know, so it makes him more of a notable figure, you know, in like the yeah. history of Butler. But you know, the other soldier that's on the wall there is, uh, is John Ogden, whose dad was actually a mayor, uh, and he was actually he's you know so he fought in the Civil War, you know, uh, so you know Richie came much after him. Uh, but you know when, when Kim was talking about him, you know she had a lot of a lot to say about him, a lot of background stuff about him being like a medic and you know she kept saying he's like a helper, helping people, <laughs> helping people. And she kept saying that, and that's you know. So the last time I was here with the plasma box, I got it actually said John Hopkins. Like <laughs> I mean, no, I look, don't, you know, don't get me wrong. When I come into the museum and I come to this part of the museum, I always uh, give these guys a salute. Yep. I always give them, hi guys, I give them a salute. And, you know, just because. Do you recognize that? Thank you. Does Very that, much. does that mean a lot? Hey, we've, you know, we've. 
everybody here in Butler, you know, they appreciate the military. The military always has a theme that's running through here. As a matter of fact, we have a cemetery here uh, called the Manning Avenue Cemetery, which is, um, you know, full of, uh, you know, soldiers from basically every major conflict uh, that, you know, America has been in, including civil war and everything after that. And so, you know, we always come back to this, like, thing where, you know, whenever there's a veterans cause, people turn out, you know. Whenever, anywhere you go, there's flags and there's, and so all the time when I come here, I always, like, I always talk to John, and I always talk to Rich, just to, you know. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for your service. Dr. Benedict Lust. There he is. There he is. So this guy is the considered to be the father of alternative medicine. He had a sanitarium here in Bella um, early in the nineteen early in the nineteen hundreds, and he was considered to be a quack doctor, and he um, he was. Uh, found in a field of study called naturopathy. Okay. The naturopathy is about not medication, not taking like homeo, like remedies, stuff. like herbal stuff, or no, no. In Butler, it's rumored that there's a there was always a nudist colony in back of Stony Brook. Okay. But in reality, what it was was that uh, Doctor Benedict Lust had a sanitarium there, and they believed in nature type cures where like if you would like take off your clothes and then you would roll around in like the dewy grass it would like you know oh, basically wow. really uh, your body would be like a sponge and it would like absorb all the stuff that uh, it, that it, it came in contact with it was called the water cure uh and so um you know for his beliefs and for his uh beliefs that um you know pharmaceuticals did more uh, harm than good he uh, was arrested over 30 times in his life. Wow. Uh, for being like a quack. For being like a quack. But he was he was never convicted uh, of anything he was arrested for. And he was, uh, you know, even his family to this day kind of like feels a little bit like he's a quack. Wow. But she showed me the picture. Yeah. And that's, uh, there's like no doubt about it. Yeah. And there's other pictures. You know why I noticed? Because I always thought he looked a little bit like Richard Dreyfus, A little bit of a... Um, this guy, Benedict Lust, he has it look like. Yeah. Look, he is. That's a great, another great picture of him right there. Look at that shit, huh? I mean, she's damn close, dude. Yeah. She's damn close. And she catches the essence of the person. I mean... She really does. And that's... That's awesome. I'm involved with... It's like the creme de la creme. Like, almost scientific field. Do you understand that? Yes. Scientific. Patents. Patents. That is correct. Yes. I, I get the number five, but I'll get back to five. It's either five In this session, or... you believe Dawn was picking up on mm -hmm. Thomas he Edison. Might be attached to one of them. So I'm just going to write it down. So. Five, five. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Can you step away from that? Thank you. Oh, what am I doing? Do you understand what John's talking about? Yes, you do. Okay, thank you. Marcy, mm -hmm. I just... All right, so you got patents, triple, Yes! Oh my goodness. Where's that other one? This one and that one? This one. Oh, okay. Is that a like, temperature gauge? Temperature, REM pod, and millimeter. So it does uh, temperature fluctuations, electromagnetic fields. Oh, there's the lantern. Okay, can you touch the lantern again, please?
be, I guess, five. I don't know if there's five tens or if that has to do with May as being significant or something. What, what being significant? What was that word you said? Of what being significant? May. May? Yeah, because it's either they use five for me to say May or. I kept wanting to do circles, but not once, twice, because you did double E. You kept saying E. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's some person who mentioned E. What do you think so far, guys? Pretty cool location? Really cool. It's a very yeah. cool location. Mm -hmm. The minute you walk into there, you can feel something hit you. Yeah. It's been going yeah. off for a reason, or it's going off by itself. Can you walk away from the device, please? I, mean, I could set the range a little further, it's but this, is it? see, that's what would send it off. But now, if we step back, it should regulate. Now that's sensing temperature. Yeah. Is this thing cold? It's an ice cream thing. Yeah. But it's not now. Yeah, it's not Okay, can you walk up to this device? This is Ron Lourdes. My name is Rich. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can you walk over to the right side of it? Or step away and it will go off? Okay. There you go. You're walking all around. And that is the right side of it now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We're not trying to make you jump through hoops. We're just trying to make sure that what we're reading is not something other than you. So we give you the respect and credit for what you're doing. Yes. Can you step away from the device, please? That would make all those lights go off. That's insane. Yeah. There it goes. It went off. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, the other thing that's specific to this device is the battery is good that you just rolled out. Is that something's breaking the plane? Yep. To cause it to because off. that's what would be. Is it not the least? Is it not the least? When I first got here, I definitely felt. Ogden up there was saying hi when Lourdes and I came back. And it's funny, now that the men are back here, it's not being as active. <laughs> so, okay, Mars. Yeah. yeah. You now they're quiet. Which is yeah. Because you only get a reset on that one. Yes. They were both making noise. You reset that one. So that one shut off. You go, all right, well, maybe the reset, maybe it needed to be done, right? Right. But you didn't reset this one. No. And this one went silent, too. No. So that's interesting. And that one went off a little more, and then it got quiet. This is completely quiet, and that's it. Can you walk up to one of these devices? And Lourdes? Active place. Yeah. There's activity here. I yeah. It. And it's not here. I mean, we're base. I well, mean, yeah. It's... There's nothing there, though. Like, just regularly, it's... Oh, can get close to... Oh, look at that. Discovery. Yeah. Excuse Science. the reach. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> not yours? Yours, yours didn't going off. Was it spiking there? Yeah. Let me hold yours. Yeah. I, I, I got chills, dude. <laughs> Circles. Circles. Photograph. Bet she's born in May. Thomas Edison? Well, Google it. That's it. Okay, anything here, you're going to get a high, high reading. Hi, guys. 
We're here visiting, trying to communicate with you. Hope all is well tonight. Can you tell us what your rank is? My husband was in the army for 24 years and he was on a tank. He was a major. So what did you do in the military? Did you experience the horrors of war? Is there anything in this room that triggers an emotion with you? Something happy, something that makes you upset? And what is it if there is an object that does that? Do you miss somebody? A wife? Children? Is something that you perhaps miss a hobby or a vice? If so, what would it be? If you're able to do so, you can ask us questions too. Um, we'll try to use some other devices that maybe we'll be able to hear you in real time. Did you use any of these weapons? Online. Else. You draw your picture. Walk over to her. She can pick up on your energy. Communicate with us tonight. We have a lot of different instruments. So okay. you asked it how old yeah, it the said spirit was? And then I went like this and it said hop. I'm like this because it startled Oh my God. So are you 100 years old or is the building 100 years old? And yes, you did make me hop, but it's okay. I was excited, not scared. Water. Yeah. And I just mapped an SLS image of a figure in that corner there. This is our friend Dawn. You just need to make your presence known and she could try to draw you. So Dawn picked up this boy in the middle room and I had a shower. I picked that up too on my first time here. Just wanted to share that. Her picture, definitely beautiful, art, artsy. Mine's like a sixth graders, but it still has that same, same look to it. Really awesome. Kind of validates what I picked up on when I first came here. What was it? It is. Like that. that sounded like a reply. Helen, is that you? Wow. 
Did you come through? Helen. 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 She just said Helen? Yeah. Helen. Do you recognize Paul? Can you say his name if you recognize him? Do you know do you know who this man is? You have a message for Paul. I'm recording this. Is my brother here? I'm going to yes. I'm going to yes. You know what's him? How many spirits are here with us right now? Is there anyone here who served in the military? You're feeling... What are you thinking, Dawn? It's interesting. I know. I know, right? Hey, well, you know us. Oh, well, I'm gonna. So old. Are you gonna? You're not gonna set that up right now, right? No. I mean, this place was here before anything was all for zero. Uh, you know, the uh, in 1886, this uh, train station was built. So three dates spent in a location. So they're not bound by space time. They transit to go over off, but they're stuck here. So it doesn't make right. It doesn't mesh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, some people believe that a certain spirit might dominate it in a place and maybe keeps other ones at bay. Is that possible? I guess it could be. I mean, we, you know, we don't know. There's no way we're going to know until we take the dirt map. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, maybe time. they just choose to be somewhere, like you were saying. Just, yeah, I, my personal belief, everybody has their own, you know. Yeah. I, I don't believe in any stuff or, or anything like that because... Uh, Honestly, God wouldn't do that to anybody either. <laughs> Why would someone that gets punished, you know, in a, a life tragedy be stuck somewhere? Because yeah, like they're a good person. Stuck in purgatory or yeah, whatever. Yeah. That's just Hollywood bullshit. And all your loved ones come at your deathbed. And, and right. Yep. right. Countless EVP recordings by tons of people over tons of years. And they still don't know any more about how the vocal gets onto the device. We still don't know. We know things that might aid in it if it's if we're talking about something that doesn't have the ability to create a mechanical wave because they don't have vocal cords. We, when we speak, it's a mechanical wave. If we're dealing with something that's carrying a vocal over an electromagnetic wave, using it like a carrier, like a radio does, then we don't know. We don't even know how they hear us. Hmm. If they're occupying the same space or if it's another dimension, we don't know. Like when we do yeah, like if they're like can just feel your words on yep. this side of. All that you know, we like, don't know. You know yeah, you can't so, answers. We I get voices that come us. out of our radios that answer us. Yeah. yeah. But we don't. We're not transmitting out with a, with a microphone. So how is 
And for the people who go to CB radio or truck driver, how would they hear you? I'm in my right. living room. Right. Yeah. So we really don't know a lot of how, how this stuff happens. We just don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if a response comes back to the reporter, you won't talk over it? Mm -hmm. And then just everybody just takes turns kind of just rolling through them. But okay. that's pretty sobering when you ask a question in, in an empty room or an open field or whatever, and you play it back, and you know nobody spoke, and nobody whispered. And then you hear a response, it's like, wait, what? It never gets, oh, she gets crazy yeah. if that happens, she's gonna start dancing. <laughs> I also get crazy when people whisper, I'm like, no whispering! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because a whisper, as quiet when you play it back in a recorder, yeah. sounds like a, a, a vocal from a, a spirit, possibly. Yeah. Right. Alright, come on, let's do this. Alright, so we're doing an EVP, we're in the basement of the train station Butler Museum. We come with respect. We've been talking to you all night. If there's anybody here, we're not invading your space. We're not asking you to leave. We're not moving in. We're just visiting. This was a place of transit for a lot of people, so we hope that's okay. We just want to know if there's anything you want to share with us. We have a message for Paul. Should I be nervous about coming down here ever when I'm in the museum by myself? Is there anybody buried down here? Is there someone under the table in the other room? Take two small head. Is there one word that you can give us that describes your story? Some of the guts that are comparable or identical to what that thing had in it. It just has allophones and phonemes. This is little, smallest fragments of, of sound that are used for speech. That's all this has. It doesn't have words, it doesn't touch radio, no receiver, nothing. We've used this, the first time we bought it and turned it on, we got home. We were with our friend Anthony, he opened up a Red Bull. I said, oh, we just got this thing, we'll we play with this before we do the other stuff. And it said Red Bull. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, right wow. away. And again, it doesn't have words in it. I told him, Anthony, you want a Red Bull? And then he turned it on and it goes, Red Bull. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> and then we used it, the second time we used it, we were on the balcony in my old apartment. Oh, yeah. We were having a cigar, we were sharing a cigar. <clears throat> and I said, can you tell us where we are, what we're doing? And it's like, I don't know, like a minute, whatever goes by. And the recording, and then it goes, Terrace, Churchill, on your terrace. Terrace, balcony. You were having a Churchill. Churchill is, a cigar, is a type of cigar. It's a longer cigar. Yeah. So I was like, what? I could play those for you, too. So it, this thing has is, is already um, yielded some stuff. So let's see if we can get something tonight. Same thing, too. If you ask a question, give it a chance to breathe. And this is the Orion Talker. It has a manual and a random where you can actually change the sweep speed, you can change the, the randomizing, right. or the pitch and the tone. So I'm gonna let it do random so it does it on its own. So we're using the Orion Talker 18. We're in the basement of the Butler Museum train station. This is the Orion Talker 18 Volte Paranormal. So any spirits, you may be able to use this, this might be easier for you. So please, if you can, come through. Come through. Who is with us? If you know Paul, could you say his name? That would be great. A lot of times you hear more stuff in reviewing it. But. Can you state your name? Is there anyone buried down here? Thank you. 
There's an inventor who has some of his stuff upstairs. Can you tell us the name of that inventor? The last time we were here, Kim thought that there was somebody that was injured in the basement. Are you in the basement? I thought I heard legs. Did something happen to your legs? Did you get hit by a train? As long as right, so bring this. Yeah. We're going to record <laughs> the direct radio voice session. We're running. We're running the text on PL360 and 222 kilohertz long wave radio, and we're also running shortwave 11,728 with the mixing board hetero dining to make a unique frequency that we're going to filter through a couple of guitar pedals with noise gate and reverb, then through the VST software, piped out to the Bluetooth speaker, and then recording it. So spirit manipulation has a chance on reception, we also have a chance between this device and the Bluetooth to manipulate it. You may hear stuff, you may hear what sounds like the cadence of speech coming through the interference. Sometimes in the moment you can hear the words, sometimes you hear them in review afterwards. But, but this is a whole different method for for doing ghost box or radio stuff that predates ghost box. This stuff is going to I'm recording on wave pedal for the DRV. The whole different spaghetti and meatballs. This is, where, this is what happened before there were spirit boxes. And it still has yielded, if you watch those documentaries, yeah. results unprecedented. You see anything on a ghost show that's close to what they got. Right. right so here we go. I'm going to bring the volume up. Right, so some levels are coming through. Good. <laughs> Yeah. No radio broadcast, no radio emissions, that's all we're using. So if you hear what sounds like speech, you know that it's not supposed to be there based on how that yeah, sounds. Yeah, it's no radio station coming through, it's... Right. I usually make it a point to play that first just so you can hear it. And same thing with this one. I thought I heard something as soon as you turned it off. Right there. That's all that yep. is. Yep, there's no radio stations. It's just the frequency we're using, we're not using any radio emissions whatsoever. Here with us. 
state your name? Anybody here with us? So state your name. Is there a Helen here? Did you catch the train here? What happened to Richard Butler's bust? What happened to the bust? speaking to what is your name Dawn, draw your picture tonight. What did you think of your your picture, your sketch? Jersey Paranormal Project would like to thank Butler Museum for having us investigate and for our friends Ron Yacovetti, Lourdes Gonzalez, medium and spirit artist Dawn Pfeiffer, and also the gear from Holte Paranormal. Thank you for watching the New Jersey Paranormal Project, and we'll see you next time.